Will Grant, BBC News, San Antonio, Texas. Well, I spoke to Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez, who represents San Antonio, where the truck was found, and I asked him about that grim discovery. Congressman, you have a sign behind you that says nothing is more important than family. What is your reaction to the tragic deaths of at least 50 people, apparently illegal immigrants crossing the border from Mexico, who've died in your district? It's absolutely heartbreaking. Regardless of these people's uh, legal status, it's heartbreaking. No human should have to die in that manner, to be abandoned uh, in an over 100 degree weather. Uh, this is exactly what I'm seeing in my district, the carnage day after day, and it has to stop. We, we all have to come together and we have to secure our border in the, in the sake of helping innocent people that are trying to come up. Many of them are trying to come over here for a better life for themselves and their families. And Congressman, you have called for immigration reform and you have an 800 mile stretch along the US-Mexican border. So you know more about this than pretty much anyone. Would immigration reform give people a clear pathway a legal way to get into America and undercut these people smugglers? You know, I think we need to do four things, and immigration reform is part of that. The first thing we need to do by securing our border is we have to re-implement the PACER program. What this did was it allowed people to come over that were seeking asylum to get their cases heard in days, not years. We got to add immigration judges to the equation, and then those that do not qualify for asylum should be returned to their country of origin. They're called repatriation flights. In the same time, we have to increase the number of work visas. Many of these people are coming over here not to be U.S. citizens. They're coming over here for economic purposes, for a better life for themselves. This is something I think the administration and Congress should work together on. Hey, how do we start with work visas? How do we start with securing our southern border? President Trump tried to build a wall. President Biden has tried to reverse his policies. Governor Greg Abbott has sent state police and the National Guard to the border. Why do you think this is such an intractable problem? Yeah, the, 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 reason, the, the reality is, you know, this administration has not dedicated the time and effort to solving the problem. This gets solved in 30 days. 30 days if you re-implement the PACER program. 30 days if you repatriate people that do not qualify for asylum and you open up work visas. This is something we should look in America. We have a work shortage in, in not just agriculture, in every industry. The world is seeing work shortages. We should welcome those that want to come and live the American dream, but they need to have a legal route. Instead of being smuggled in a train or smuggled in a box cart or a, or, or a truck, they should be coming through the front door and having a legal way to do that. That This administration sadly has failed that. And, Congressman, you have had two tragedies in Texas, in your region, in the last month, a horrendous school shooting in Uvalde, and now this. It must be an awful lot for you to deal with. Our heart has been ripped out over and over again. You know, Uvalde is 80 miles from the southern border, and what people don't realize is, you know, our teachers, the, the border crisis is, is at the forefront of things. Our teachers, as they're getting ready for summer school, we're, we're 60 days away and we're trying to get ready for school. There was a high speed chase that went through Uvalde. Imagine you had just went through this horrific you know, incident 30 days ago, and then you get a text message that you have to lock down in place. Everyone is revisiting, reliving this horrendous uh, incident that has occurred and it hasn't stopped. I think it starts the administration and, and, and Congress needs to come together and have real solutions that starts, immigration reform starts with securing our border. Uh, and that was Tony Gonzalez, who represents that area of Texas where those migrants were found dead, speaking to me earlier. Well, Ghislaine Maxwell, a former girlfriend of the sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, has been sentenced to 20 years in prison by a court in New York. She was convicted last December of helping Epstein abuse teenage girls.